What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I got five high yield dividend stocks to buy. They're cheap dividend stocks and they're less than $30. I'm definitely going to do a dividend stock analysis. And I'm going to add two bonus stocks to this. I feel great. I mean, I literally just got done with my uh, advanced pharmacology exam. I blew an A minus by a point. But um, I'll take the B plus. I mean, it was a lot of hard work. Um, you know, the two courses I took, um, it was a challenge. It was a really big challenge this summer. And, um, you know, I came out strong. I can't wait to catch up with some people. I'm actually catching up with um, somebody I did cardiac rehab with uh, before I became a nurse. And when I was an exercise physiologist, she's uh, uh, in the middle of uh, cancer and battling cancer. So I want to go visit her after I do this video. I'm actually going to visit my best friend as well. It's his birthday today. And I did a review a long time ago on my infrared grill. I'm just going to give it to him. I mean, my apartment complex is not allowing us to use infrared grills. So I pretty much just bake um, chicken, definitely uh, Tyson uh, stock. I've discussed that one numerous times. Don't forget uh, Conagra Brands, CAG. That's another one. That's a really good dividend stock. I'm long in uh, Conagra Brands. So let's check out these five uh, cheap uh, dividend stocks. But I just want to add something. M1 Finance does have a special with $50. Um, if you sign up, just uh, click the link in the description uh, below, as well as the comment section. I have that in there. And I also have my uh, dividend investor of the week. Uh, his name is Budget Dog. He uh, has a really good investing 101. I mean, I, he's done, let's see, out of 75. Uh, reviews they're all five stars so it must be pretty good so that's just something if you're interested in checking out um, you can click my affiliate link um, he's literally going to pay off his house it, it's crazy um, very sharp guy that uh, I associate myself with in the uh, dividend investing community and investing community so I definitely uh, if you guys want the edge a little bit with investing or some things that I can't help you in the chats because you know I'm busy with graduate school check that out I mean you'll get You'll definitely get a good bang for your buck as well as too, uh, too much money with uh, Dividend Cultivator. Um, a few of you guys have bought that and really like that. His reviews are fantastic as well. So they're in the uh, description below. I, I, I want to help you guys out. You know, I can't answer everything. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. You know, This is for entertainment purposes. But uh, I love doing these videos for you guys. And you, know, you guys really gave me some awesome compliments. And um, I'm ready to show you guys uh, these five stocks, actually seven. So let's check them out right now. So my first stock is Reynolds Consumer Products. Uh, you'd be surprised at what products they carry. They have a 3.30% dividend yield, a PE ratio of 15.42, and they're in demand. So this is a cheap dividend stock. This is less than $30. They have a nice dividend yield. Uh, I have to show you the products that they carry because you're going to be like, Wow, I didn't even realize that uh, you know these guys carry these products. I thought it was another company. So let's check them out real quick. Financially, they're doing fantastic. I'll also show you their revenue and their dividend uh, history, which is very nice. So let's check out their products. What a surprise, Hefty. Gee, I have a bag uh, that I have all my advanced pharmacology uh, papers from my last exam. I'm, I'm throwing them out and guess what bag I'm using a hefty bag. And don't forget Reynolds wrap. How many times do you use aluminum foil, whether you're cooking or you're grilling, uh, and you're putting like, um, you're cooking like vegetables and you're putting it under Reynolds wrap. What a surprise. Let's check out some other products they carry. Fresh lock and slide, right? Brands, geo systems, brands. These are things that are, um, it very uh, cool with uh, these are the uh, packaging uh, closers, fresh lock. So, and don't forget uh, Presto brand. That's another one where they uh, private label uh, food storage bags, waste bags, reusable containers, and food wrap. Many are what sold under the Presto brand. Diamond brand's another one. So, that's a very popular one. Uh, products with diamond. Uh, Banner now include aluminum foil, plastic wrap, uh, parchment paper, food bags, plastic food and storage containers, and waste bags. So they're in demand. Hopefully you don't hear my uh, espresso machine in the background. 
Reynolds Kitchens, Reynolds Wrap, aluminum foil, uh, pans, covering dishes. I mean, what don't they carry? This is what's amazing about these guys. And let's check out their revenue. So each year, their sales and revenue has increased. 2016, $2.94 billion. 2017, $2.96 billion. 2018, $3.14 billion. Okay, it went down a little bit in 2019, but 2020, it's $3.26 billion. So their sales and growth has increased. Remember, I always tell you guys, when you look at dividend stocks, are these in demand? Okay, I have hefty bags. I have garbage bags. Okay, we need to throw out garbage. Okay, that's in demand. Hefty is in demand. Uh, aluminum foil, people use that to wrap and cook and stuff. That's going to be in demand. A lot of these products they use are in demand. Now we need to check their dividend history. Hmm, I see some dividend increases. 15 cents, 22 cents, 23 cents. So you've got a stock that is in demand right here. It is slowly increasing its dividend. Pandemic and recession, still doing well. So that's very exciting. So they're like in the rubber and plastics and all this stuff. This is what people need. Consumers need this. This stock ain't going anywhere. R-E-Y-N is a symbol. Let's jump to the next stock. Of course, I'm going to go back to this one again. Key Corp. Key Bank. K-E-Y symbol, a 3.76% dividend yield. A P-E ratio right at 8.48. Uh, the market cap is 19.42 billion. This is a bank that has been down. Okay, this is one. At one point, it was beating the S&P. Okay, one point it was beating the S&P. Then the recession came, took a big nosedive. It was at $6.48. Imagine getting that. And now it's $19.63. Kudos to you if you got it with the dip when it was way down. The past five years, it has kept up with the S&P, and all of a sudden, pandemic happens back down so the dip is still there at one point in its peak it was 2040 uh 2159 2215 so it's not there yet but it's it's going it's decreasing against the s p revenue wise they're doing fantastic but what makes this a great dividend stock is its dividend history which i will show you and reveal to you now look at these beautiful dividend increases, $0.06, cents, $0.07, cents, $0.08, cents, $0.09, cents, $0.17, cents, $0.18. Cents. That's a beautiful dividend distribution. You have a dividend that increases. Now again, when I post videos, I like dividend stocks that increase their dividends over time. These are cheap ones. Again, less than $30. It's $19.60, 3.76% dividend yield, annual dividend of $0.74 cents if you have one share. P.E. ratio 8.63. As I always say, take it to the bank. You're getting a nice uh, dividend that has consistently increased if you look at the trends. So here's right during the pandemic time and, and a slow recovery, obviously. But revenue-wise, they're doing fantastic. So you have a stock that is cheap. That's another one, less than $30. That has increased its dividend over time and is at $19.60. How do you say no to that? Let's jump to the next dividend stock. I have absolutely loved this mortgage backed rate. This is at M rate. Now, I have done a video on AGNC and I compared it with Arbor Realty Trust. First of all, this has a 7.76% dividend yield, a PE ratio of 7.84%. Took a little bit of a nosedive during the pandemic. Wow, at one point it was, what, 482 Gosh, can you imagine throwing like $100 in that or something? That is a, that's a deal. And you have, I don't know how, it, it's, it's crazy. I mean, an M rate is beating the S&P in the past five years. It's increased its price per share, actually increased its dividend. And I'm going to actually show you a little bit more data that proves that Arbor Realty Trust is a good stock. I am long in that stock. I'm actually long on KeyBank as well. And I want to show you why Arbor Realty Trust is a really good um, dividend stock. Again, this is for entertainment purposes. I am not a financial advisor. Disclaimer in the comment section and description. But this is why I like them. I, I 
M rates usually are a huge risk. They usually decrease their price per share and their dividend usually decreases over time. They're just not a very attractive rate. But let me show you this information real quick. That's you're going to be like, wow. Now this is just annual data. Now this is just annual data in millions. Okay. Of us dollars. 141.03 in 2014. You're seeing 142, 213, 346, 484, 535, 603.724. And a gross profit of 285.23. You're seeing an increase in everything. It's just jumping up. They have an excellent business model. And for me to say that an M rate is actually doing well against the S&P, it boggles my mind. And they have done such a phenomenal job. They have increased their dividend over time. Let me show you their dividend history, which makes us even more attractive. This is an M rate, okay? I've compared this with AGNC, and this runs circles around AGNC. I don't care what people say. And this is why, because they increase their dividend. And I'm going to jump to that. I mean, holy cow, 13 cents, 15, 16. 18, 21, 25, 27, 28, 29, 31, 35. That's right around my birthday. Seven days from my birthday, I got a nice dividend increase from Arbor Realty Trust. I am long in this one. PE ratio is 6.97. Dividend yield is 7.44%. Remember, I like 3 to 5% dividend yields. That's right, that's right on my range. But if it's a little bit higher, you got to be careful. So like this one, do a little bit of extra digging before you start seeing things. If you look at AGNC, their dividend has decreased over time. These guys have increased. So when usually, okay, usually when dividend stocks increase their dividends, they're doing something right. So that's important. These guys are doing something right. And this is what I like about them. And this is why I'm long in them. And we're going to jump to the next dividend stock. Oh, we got another one. Take it to the bank. Oh, we got another one. Take it to the bank. Lakeland Bank Corp, $16.33. Dividend yield of 3.36%. You got a bank, okay? Now, again, the financial sector, they have not done well. I mean, look at this against the S&P. Look at here. Past five years, not bad. Actually beating the S&P in the past five years. Then came the pandemic, and then they're trying to make a comeback, but it's $16.08. So you got a 3.36% dividend yield. This is a stock I never even heard of. Let's look a little bit more into the stock before you know it, you like what you see. This is what's important. This is very interesting. Lakeland Bank Corp, Inc. to acquire first Constitution Bank Corp. Board of Directors of Lakeland Bank Corp., the parent company of Lakeland Bank, and First Constitution Bank Corp., the parent company of First Constitution Bank, announced today that they have a, entered a definitive agreement plan of merger in which Lakeland will acquire First Constitution. Combined organization will be approximately $9.6 billion in assets and will rank the fifth largest bank headquartered in, in New Jersey. The merger brings together two high-performing companies with complementary geographies and business lines. Very interesting. Very interesting. Hold on. Let's look a little bit more into these guys. Let's check with it. Let's look into more. You know, this is... I've never heard of this bank. Let's, let's see what they're about. We need to see how they're doing financially. Here's some data. 140. Now, again, this is in millions of dollars. 140, 148, 184, 215, 235, 283, 275, understandable with the pandemic. And they just sucked up somebody, it appears. Okay, I like what I see. LBAI. But what, what about their dividend history? We need to check that out. This is looking really good. 7 cents, 8 cents, 9 cents, 10 cents, 11, 12, 13 13 cents, you can say, you know, 0 0.135 cents, $16.08. 
3.3% dividend yield, PE ratio 987, 9.87, annual dividend of 0. 54 or 54 cents. So you're seeing an increase. Let me just go over that. 10, 11, 12, 13. They're going up. The revenue is going up. Take it to the bank. LBAI is a symbol. Let's jump to the next stock. And then we got two more bonus stocks. I have posted numerous videos on Huntington Bank shares. And I am long in the stock. HBAN is a symbol. 4.21% dividend yield. This Take it to the bank. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what's nice. These guys are, you know, at one point they're rebounding and they're a little bit down. So I'm considering buying more shares with these guys, my E-Trade uh, dividend portfolio. And they're not jumping up too fast. Pandemic, they have taken a huge nosedive. So they were, at one point, they were beating the S&P. They were doing well and all of a sudden, boom, they got hit with that pandemic uh, button and, Look, they're they're not recovering very well. Now, will they, you know, catch up with the S&P in the past five years? Potentially, you know, again, this is not financial advice, but a 4.21% dividend yield, their revenue has done very well, as I had posted in previous videos. So make sure you check out some of my previous videos on a lot of those uh, dividend stocks. It's still one of my solid stocks out there. They're cheap. They're less than $30. Let me jump to their dividend history. And this is what's incredible. Look, four cents, five cents, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They're at fifteen, and hopefully they'll increase their dividend over time. A dividend yield of four point two six percent, PE ratio ten point zero four, annual dividend of sixty cents. Did you smash that like button? Make sure you do. This is why I post these videos for you guys. We're fifty one k strong. Uh, thank you so much, by the way. You guys have been amazing. The comments and everything are, are awesome. I'm going to keep on posting videos. But look at this. They're increasing their uh, dividend. And don't forget to smash um, smash that uh, uh, bell so that you don't miss future videos. Look, I mean, we're getting increases. We're getting increase of the dividend over time. How can you say no to this? This is beautiful. Now we're going to jump to these bonus stocks. We got two of them. So you may own these, you may not. I have done videos on these, but they're both less than $30 right now, and they're hot. Uh, one of them I would consider hot. Another one is still on people's radar, and people are a little bit skeptical, but I own actually both of these, and I'm long in them. That stock would be B&G Foods. It's $27.99. Uh, it has a 6.79% dividend yield, right below $30. Uh, the market cap is $1.87 billion. P.E. ratio 13.86. Wait a second. Who is B&G Foods? I never even heard of these guys. You probably bought some of these at the store and you have no idea who these guys are. And you're going to be surprised at how many things that they own. These guys own Back to Nature, uh, Clabber Girl, Cream of Wheat, Crisco, Ortega, Salt Free Dash, Green Giant, uh, Victoria, B&G. Uh, accent flavor enhancer, Bear Creek Country Kitchens, so the cinnamon toast, uh, cinna dust uh, seasoning blend, uh, carries crock pot seasoning mix. Gee, how many people use crock pot seasoning as uh, mixes? Uh, Henry's, they got Farmwise Emeralds, so like some of the pasta sauce. Um, I actually like his uh, pasta sauce flavor. I, it, it's really good. Joan of Arc, Las Palmias, Las Sur. McDonald's, not McDonald's. Mama Mary's, Maple Farms, Maple Grove Farms of Vermont. Um, Irish Oatmeal, McCann's, imported. Uh, New York Style Flatbeds, Skinny Girl. Gee, how many people have had Skinny Girl before or see girls buy that at the um, store? Uh, Sugar Twin, Calorie Free Sweetener, uh, True North, Weber Seasoning, Wright's Liquid Smoke, uh, Vermont Made a Soup. And let's think about this. I'm, I'm just going to click one of these, okay? Here's Ortega. So how many times on Taco Tuesday do you think that people have that? Their um, taco shells, tortillas, their salsas, their seasoning mixes. I see that all the time on people's um, carts. You know, uh, it, it's really interesting. And Green Giant, how many people have bought Green Giant products? So these are very popular products to the consumers, 
And I'm going to jump to their dividend history. I mean, look at this, 32, 33, 34, 35, 42, 47 cents. It's $28.28, P.E. ratio of 13.86, dividend yield of 6.62%, annual dividend of 190. Okay, so I have a lot of shares in these guys. I'm long in them. Absolutely love this dividend stock. Um, these products are in demand. Seems like with their revenue, it's, you know, a little bit consistent. Uh, they have some new innovative things that are, are going on. Um, Next time I post a video on these guys, I'll have to show you guys. Um, I think it's really interesting. I really like this stock, and I'm long in it. Let's jump to the final wild card stock. That last one is AT&T. Now, they have not beaten the S&P in the past five years. They have a 7.47% dividend yield. And what there's pre a lot of people are predicting in the next two years, they're going to um, decrease their dividend or their dividend percentage. And, you know, they have this big spinoff. They're trying to be a little innovative. But they're making some changes to help themselves as a company um, grow and, you know, hopefully have consistent increase in dividends over time. And again, it's $27.85. How can you go wrong with that? It's a 7.47% dividend yield. I actually own these guys. I'm long in them. What I'm going to probably do is keep on reinvesting in them and just leave them alone. See what happens. In the long run, I mean, I need to have certain stocks in the communication sector. I do have Verizon, but I do need a little bit of AT and T too. And guess what? Usually, on my M1 Finance dividend portfolio, they distribute distribute dividends on the same day. So, you know, Verizon is probably the better communication stock right now at the moment um, with the dividend increases. But this is a still a good one, and I need to be well diversified. I'm going to jump to the dividend history of AT&T. You know, changes could happen in the future, but look at these dividends right now. So look at this, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52 cents. Not too bad, 7.42% dividend yield. I'm going to just capitalize and take advantage of these dividends that are pumping in. And these guys aren't jumping up to 30 um, cents. Or, I'm sorry, not 30 cents, $30. So I'm going to take advantage of this situation, keep on reinvesting. Um, I'm hoping that they'll consistently increase their dividends over time, depending on if um, their dividend uh, is, you know, their dividend distribution percentage is down or if they um, get a little bit lower, that's okay because I got Verizon backing me up. So, you know, I'll ride the dividends for now and then make a decision. I'll, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm probably going to be long in these guys. So if you guys are new to this channel, again, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. You guys are fantastic. By the way, I am drinking some coffee from Starbucks. So Starbucks is a really good dividend stock way up there. Um, they've increased their dividends over time. Very good. I would consider that a very good defense stock. But, um, you know, you guys are amazing. I absolutely love doing these videos for you. I will post one tomorrow as well. So you guys take care and have a good one.